Help support the companies that support our community. Robin was on Pinterest looking for project ideas and she found this one. She goes, those are adorable. So here we are. So these are refrigerator magnets and I'm gonna make it out of big leaf maple. I just need to get the piece trued up before I start shaping it and I'm doing that with a spindle gouge. I have the lathe speed at just about 3,000 for pretty much the whole project here. Now use the smaller the easy wood beading tools for this. This is a pretty quick little project. I went ahead and made three of them and by using the beading tool you don't have to do any sanding on the beads too so that speeds up the whole process. For the little honey dipper, I used a, uh, so this is going to, I'm going to drill a hole in the pot and put this in, and this is out of big leaf maple too. For the beads on the little dipper, I used the D-Way beading tool, and this one's a little bit smaller. I'll put the sizes of this one and the Easy Wood beading tool in the description.
So these are refrigerator magnets, so you need to flatten off one side of them. So I put a disc on there in my Jacobs chuck, and the disc, this disc, you might have seen me use another one where it's kind of spongy. This one's hard, so it'll make a nice flat surface, and I just put 80 grit sandpaper on it and flattened it off, and then I just drilled a hole down in from the top and used a, just a little bit of wood glue and glued in the little dipper. And then for the back side, just a Forstner bit. So if you're going to do like a magnet like this or a refrigerator magnet like this, don't drill down too far. I left them just a little bit proud, about a sixteenth or so, and then hot glued them in. After the glue on the magnet was dry, I went ahead and oiled them all with the walnut oil. There we go. The oil is all dry. They're about two inches tall and about an inch and a half in diameter. And again, they're out of big leaf maple. Just a fun, quick little project. And I think they would sell really well at craft shows and things like that. And using the beading tool is really kind of speeds up the whole process because there's no sanding. It eliminates a lot of it, but fun little project. I did say I made three of them. I, the other one I didn't flatten off and I turned that one into a bottle stopper. Robin, I think they are adorable too. <laughs> All right, one quick tip before we go. So uh, I'll show you a little clip here and then I'll tell you the tip. Oh, oh. oh no, it's gonna turn it off, turn it off. So don't <laughs> have your vacuum hose too close to it. I've just set that little blank down. That was the blank I used for the, the actual dipper part and the vacuum system just sucked it up. So if you're parting something off, don't have your vacuum hose right there where it will suck it up and ruin. I, years ago I had, I was making a lid of the box. I was almost done and I was parting the lid off. It sucked it up and just broke it into a million little pieces. So. Move the vacuum hose out of the way. All right. Uh, one other thing. We're going to be at the Woodcraft in Tigard, Oregon on uh, July 15th. We're going to be doing a demo from 1 to 4. So if you're in the area, please stop by and say hi. We're doing an Easywood Tools demo for about three hours. I'm going to do a lidded box and a bowl. So if you're in the area, please stop by and say hi. All right. Take care, and we will see you next week.